a good spot to watch right here. It's just a deep gully right there. Watch Derek run. I've got a lot of questions about the the tilt cylinder on the end of the boom. How on our other machine we built that guard and put on it to cover that whole cylinder. This one doesn't need it because they the way they've got the port where the line is on that cylinder, it's underneath it, kind of tucked up underneath it. The other one, like on the other one, was out on the side. And so you're not going to hit this one, this line here on this one, like we did on that other one. These videos right here, I've got, I got several different videos that people are nuts about, and this happens to be one of them. When I show the, the 635 and 830 up close, these are massive videos for me. Somebody asked me here a while back, said, "Oh, that's dead." Wanted to know how many more videos I was going to post to the 635. I told them, I said, as many as I want to. <laughs> oh my goodness. So is he going after the forky poplar down there? Let's see. Maybe. Those are painful to cut like that right there. Because you gotta cut one that one's dead on the closest to us here. So you gotta cut it, catch it, right back on top of him. Look at that. See that right there? Bam! Boy, I had to tick you off, man, because he didn't know that thing was dead. He's letting his disc come back up. That's a hoss right there. Look at it! He had to let that and go. It's been a tipping. You see it? That right track went down. I bet his heart about stopped on that one. He had to let her go, buddy. It made my heart stop. I thought he was gone. I sure hope I had that camera sitting right. of a tree right there. Get that limb out of it. They're gonna get the top now. Yeah, he's been to use that to track on top of, hold him up. Well, man, when he cut through that tree and he lifted, that right track went to China over there. And boy, that, that machine tipped quick. I mean, quick, quick, quick. So now he's got to come all the way up to reposition and go over there and get them trees.
open too much because that will roll on down the hill on him. He's trying to keep it from doing that. He got it. It's stuff like we do here, man, ain't no joke. Uh, you better know what you're doing. You take that machine, a $600,000 machine right there. You better have your crap together. It's this wet like this, Derek has to place those trees where Chad can get them. And so it takes a little bit of time, but as long as we still stay ahead of the trucks, that's all that matters. At least we're working because it's Tuesday and a lot of people are still not even working today. Comment and said I can't believe that that machine right there just got a six seven liter Cummins in it that's all it needs I mean it uh, it's a the engine is pulling pumps and that's the difference it's hydraulic power and all you gotta do is pull those pumps because that machine's hydrostatic watch it walk at that stump look at it right over that's the beauty of the bogeys back here on the back and Derek's got two good trees in the head now Go fork a tree. Those things are so aggravating. 
That tree shook the ground all the way over here where I'm at when it hit the ground right there. See, you can't do that with a rubber tire machine. What he just did right there, cutting and spinning and throwing it over there out of his way. Uh-oh. Too low. He's trying to tear it. We gotta let his disc catch back up and then he'll get it. Maybe it'll hold up. He's finna get it, watch him. There he goes. Like a daggone snake. He was gonna cut that one on his right. I see what he was finna do. He's finna cut it and he saw that one start leaning back. So he shot over there and grabbed it real quick. See his disc, ooh, that didn't hit the ground hard. He got a piece hung in his disc. See that chunk of wood? He'll spin his disc backwards. His disc is still powered. He'll take it and he'll push it on that tree and he'll go to the right and it'll push that, uh... See it? See, the disc is still powered, but he can take and force that disc backwards against the pressure to get that piece out. The disc is coming up. Gonna cut it. It was probably running about 18 or 20 percent on the speed right there was all. He's finna eat this rim up right here. Cutting some gun right there. Chad's waiting on Derek to kind of get on out of his way right there. Cause Chad needs to go right through there where Derek's at right now. You see the whole time all of this is going on, Kevin's sitting there running one tree right after another, just as fast as he can run them. Saving the tops and everything.
putting it right in the skid trail. So Chad will come, when Chad comes by me right here, he'll just line up on them and grab them at the same time and go on to the uh, processor with them. Kind of like Krispy Kreme, red lights on, baby. Those are red hot and fresh right there. Ready to be ate. Here he comes. Chad seen that red light pop on at the KK. Here he comes. <laughs> a good bit about the duels uh, and the fuel consumption I really can't tell any fuel consumption difference at all between with them and without them the machine uh, gotta ask about how much fuel that machine burns it runs uh, it'll run a tank of fuel a day through it it's what it'll run it holds a hundred hundred something gallons hundred and 10 or 120 gallons, something like that, I think. See Derek's hooking him up right there. Which I said that, it won't quite burn. We fueled up once a day and it won't quite burn a whole tank in a day, even hard running, pulling like this in these hills. I'd probably safely say probably a hundred gallons a day. We don't really keep up with that mess, man. We just log. We just, whatever it takes to get it on the ground and get it on the freaking truck, that's what we do. What's so cool about that 635 is that, that pump on that thing it's constantly reading what it's doing pulling wise and that thing is adjusting perfectly to pull like when he went to take off right there and that thing loaded a little bit it stays on top of the torque on the rpms on that thing so you're at max torque all the time it's something that a human being couldn't do that quick This is some cool stuff, man. I wish all y'all could sit right here where I'm at right now. A whole video like that right there. It just, just good stuff. Good, good stuff. Those machines are, are so strong and so powerful. And what they'll do is just mind-boggling and that stuff right there. I've got, uh, I filmed a good bit today, different things like that. So we had, uh, let's see, Monday real wet we got 14 loads money so we did real good uh today which was tuesday uh we ended up coming out with 18 so uh we we've done good despite how wet it is the road the road going in and out is perfect um really nice the the woods we're having to kind of really pick and choose about where we run and 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 don't run and all that stuff like that so I don't even have to say I hope you enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed that video right there. Just some really good stuff. So y'all check out the tater store down below. Cotton.3.com. Everything's right down below. Always look at the look at the description box, man. If you got time, there's always uh good stuff. You know, there may be something lingering down in there. It's pretty good in the description, you know, talking about the video or anything like that. Uh I've got several more Husqvarna hats, caps to give away. Uh, so I'm gonna do another giveaway here coming up uh, pretty soon. So be kind of paying attention on the videos for that in case something along those lines pop up for your chance to win another cap or, or something else, uh, who knows? So we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.